I was the lead vehicle in my Bradley. We spotted an IED in the road and there were secondaries and my vehicle struck one of those. I was exposed up through the hatch and so I kind of caught the full blunt of the explosion. Eric just called me, um, explained to me what was happening, that he was going to go and get medevac to go to Germany to get checked to see if there was, you know, um, something more going on or what was really happening. Because at that point, he had some vision, but it was, you know, in one eye, it was starting to decrease. We just have a trailer house and it's a 20-year-old trailer house. There's absolutely no space. The hallway is so narrow we can't fit in between there. The doors don't open very far so it's kind of a squeeze and then just taking a drop off down some steps so there's not a lot of room for them to get situated in order to go down the steps safely. The bathroom is so small and him getting in and out of that high tub scares me because we don't have railings or anything like that and you know they lose footing and you slip and you know that's a real scary situation the bedrooms are so small and he has so much equipment computer stuff and all that for, for him to have all of his machines set up that can scan books and read up to him you know and we just don't have any room we just don't have room Oh, the idea of this, how it's been explained, the idea of having a doorway big enough for Deacon and I to get through, we'll be able to glide through those rooms and the hallways and being able to control my own environment, having things laid out in braille and different handles so I know what it is to have that bathroom set up. It'll be amazing to be able to have safety rails, uh, being able to sit down on a bench to be able to do other things instead of trying to use my balance. But be able to see him go into a kitchen and open up a closet where he can use one of his little machines that reads the labels and he'll know it's tomato soup or something and he wants tomato soup and he can knows where the can is and he can start cooking again and enjoying some of the things like we enjoy doing together. I think Homes for Our Troops and rebuilding soldiers' lives and trying to give them back some of that sense of independence, giving them back that opportunity to be able to spend more time in our home with our family and our grandbabies and a sense of security. I mean, that is the biggest thing for, for both of us is a safety and um, Homes for Our Troop is just an absolute blessing for our family, not just for him and I, but for our whole family.